Today in France, it's deja vu all over again, as new COVID cases surge, reaching a new record Friday of nearly 9,000 cases in a single day. Masks are now compulsory in major French cities. Violators could pay a nearly $200 fine. It's not just France. Cases in Spain are way up again after a summer lull. And in the UK, infections just soared to nearly 3,000 in a day, its biggest jump since May. And new travel bans are being imposed. But some Parisians remain remarkably blasé. Yeah, of course, uh, we are a bit worried about, about the situation, but uh, we also have to live like, uh, like normally. New free testing stations here account for some of the rise in numbers, but hospitalization and death rates remain low. There are fewer than 500 COVID cases in intensive care, down from about 8,000 at the height of the crisis. The infected are mostly young, showing mild or no symptoms, a trend reflected across Europe. Young people begging to understand that it's a real thing for everybody, not just for old people. And this time, France won't stop. French President Emmanuel Macron is ruling out a fresh lockdown. People are going back to work and schools have reopened, but 22 shut down almost immediately last week after outbreaks. American Jake Lippert, whose family lives in France, had been eager to get back to class. Originally, I was kind of excited to be able to see my friends again, but yes, now I now that the again the cases have been kind of surging, it is it does feel a little bit less sure. His mother Kim is also worried and confused. We wear masks absolutely everywhere we go, and we're trying to do everything we can to be safe, but it feels like we are walking into the unknown. And it's not just Europe. India just surpassed Brazil uh, to become the second worst afflicted country in the world. But, you know, both of those countries are still far behind the global leader in this pandemic, the U.S.